Welcome back to the show. I'm joined by Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, who is back to discuss sickle cell disease, a blood disorder that in the U.S. affects primarily African Americans. Thank you for being with us, as um, always. Thank you. Always great to be here. We have recording artist Tian T. Boz Watkins of the group TLC, who knows about this disease firsthand. As lead singer for the group TLC, Tion t -Boz Watkins has sold more than 65 million records worldwide. TLC is ranked as the best-selling female group of all time in the United States and the second best-selling female group worldwide. With five Grammy Awards and four number one singles, TLC has made its mark in the music industry. Thanks for being here. Oh, you look pleasure. fantastic. You're sweet, thank you. Thanks for talking about sickle cell. I wasn't properly diagnosed until I was 28 years old, so I lived 28 years not understanding what I had, which is crazy. I just want to remind everyone what sickle cell disease is. It's an inherited blood disorder, and the red blood cells are normally smooth ovals. Those carry oxygen throughout your body. But when you have sickle cell, your cells are actually abnormally shaped, like a sickle with those jagged edges. And then what happens is sickle cells, they're stiff, they're sticky, and when they're stiff and sticky like that, they can clump together. Seems like no big deal, but what happens when they clump together, it blocks blood flow. When you don't get blood flow, you don't get oxygen to your limbs and other organs that block blood flow can cause pain, severe organ damage. It can cause damage to the spleen, which of course, as you know, raises the risk for severe infections. And it's a cascading effect if you, if you don't manage it properly. So how does sickle cell happen? How do you uh, get the trait or how do you get the disease? Mm -hmm. In order to have the disease, you have to inherit it Mm -hmm. the the gene from both parents my so you have your mom and your dad <laughs> <laughs> my daughter has the trait though so she doesn't have the disease but this is chase hi chase, hi, chase. Hi. <laughs> beautiful like her mama and then the trait happens when you have one normal gene mm -hmm. and one sickle cell gene so what happens if you put two people with the trait together? What actually might happen for their children? Mm -hmm. The first thing is they could inherit the disease. The second thing that can happen is they would inherit the trait, which usually doesn't have severe health consequences. Right. And then the third thing that can happen is they have neither. They don't have the trait or the disease. But here's the good news. Um, in almost every state, almost every newborn is now tested for sickle cell disease. A lot of people think that only African Americans get sickle cell disease. But that's not true. Some other ethnic groups actually are affected by sickle cell disease as well. So this form of testing now gives us a chance to make sure that whoever is affected is picked up uh, right there in the hospital. But I'm not sure that people really understand what these painful crises are like. The best way to describe it is it feels like a knife is stabbing you in your joints constantly. So you go to the hospital, they give you IV fluid, which helps flush your blood and, you know, they give you oxygen to get oxygen to your organs. And then a lot of powerful pain medicine is, like, really hard, which when I go, you know, I get a lot of fans saying, oh, she's rich, she's t boss she gets special treatment. What kind of special treatment? Money can't buy a cure no. that doesn't exist. So what am I getting? And I get it worse because they think all celebrities are, she's a druggie, she's seeking drugs. So a lot of patients come in and they go, oh, she just wants to get high. And I think it's important that everyone understands how severe these pain crises are mm -hmm. because when they're bad, you require a lot of pain medication to help you just get through it, to survive yeah. it. I'm glad we're, we're raising awareness about this because mm -hmm. this is something everyone should know if, if they're a carrier and, and like you, it shouldn't be when you're 28 years of age. So we'll discuss Thank more you. with T-Boz after the break. When we come back, T-Boz is going to share what she does daily to help manage her pain. Stick around. In September 1996, TLC was at the top of their game when it was announced to the world that Tion T. Boz Watkins had been battling the incurable blood disease sickle cell anemia. 
She came forward to shed light on sickle cell and to be a spokesperson for the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America. We're back with t Boz of the group TLC. She suffers from sickle cell beta thalassemia. And what was it like back when the world found out that you were dealing with this? It was hard because they thought I had AIDS and HIV. I was told I wouldn't live past 30. I would never uh, travel the world. I'd be disabled. And I would never have children. My daughter's 13, I'm 43, and I'm in the biggest girl group of all time. That's in right, so. that's right. Please come out. That's what's up. <laughs> we were talking earlier about pain. There's also the fatigue, which is why we're so, I don't know, intrigued by your ability to go do what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm not gonna pretend it was easy. It's a daily thing for mm -hmm. me. I do a lot of stuff though. Okay. I've done a lot of research. Research is so important. And I have my concoctions okay. that I have. They're all natural, oh, but boy, they work for me. Yeah, yeah. So these, so these are some of your concoctions. I'm just curious, what is that, t -Boss? This is apple juice and this is oregano oil. You can drop this under your tongue, your breath will be kicking and it'll burn a little. But if you can't take it that way, you can put in apple juice or orange juice, just three drops a day. And once it gets in your system, it'll really build your immune system and keep the cooties away. Okay, right. so what do yeah, we this have one here? looks really interesting. What okay, this so one? this is kale salad. I put vinaigrette or whatever kind of, you know, yeah, balsamic so vinegar. And um, you put some for me, what I found out, you know, inflammation causes pain, so kale is a natural anti-inflammatory. So if you just eat raw kale salads, cranberries, and if you like avocados or whatever, and salad dressing, boom. It's it can help with, with iron, pain. too. So you are yeah. on the right track. So All what else of these you have? foods are anti-inflammatory. <laughs> I love it. And uh, even the beets, beets that you said you just hate. They... Saving that one for you. Is this a beet smoothie? And I hate eating mm -hmm. beets. I can't eat beets. OK, great. Did I can't make eat beets, right, You heard about me and beets, right? 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 Let's see, let's see. Did they make <laughs> okay. it right? Tell but us. there are beets. There's kale in here, too? Okay, yeah, you say, make it sweet. It's not as bad, but the beets are um, like I can't chew them like that. Is there some but if ginger? you grind them up in juice and put a whole bunch of apples and ginger to spice it, I like it that way. We're not exactly sure about how these things actually help us, which is why some of the nutritional support um, and research that is now going on is happening to help us get answers to these critical questions. It is important for us to mention the things that might make a crisis come on, which one would be dehydration. Mm -hmm. So of mm -hmm. course, T-Boz stays hydrated with a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And then stress. So I can't imagine being a singer and trying to manage the stress of things, but trying to keep stress to a, a minimum. So what do you do to de-stress? Kick everybody who stresses me out of my life. There you go. <laughs> and there are a whole range of symptoms, too, that you have to manage. So we talked about pain, we talked about fatigue, we talked about what you needed to kind of stay away from, but there are some other things you have to manage, like shortness of breath or dizziness, headaches. Um, and then there are some things that can happen with your skin, right? So sometimes your skin is especially pale, or people who have sickle cell have yellowing of their skin, which we call jaundice, or yellowing of the whites of their eyes, which we call icterus. So all of these things you're dealing with all day, every day. So you have to make sure that you're up on your vaccinations, that you kind of move at the first hint of any infection to get it taken care of. And then I want to make sure that everybody knows if they want more information about sickle cell disease, they can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And I really hope that having T-Boss here today, I hope everyone realizes and understands a little bit more about how difficult it can be to deal with sickle cell. Before we do let you go, what cool projects do you have coming up? We're doing a show January 29th, Super Bowl weekend, and it's like TLC and Friends, so big performance of all the hits. So it should be fun. I'm excited. How you, you? So nice to meet you. Thank you. We'll be right back.